everyone. Hope you're doing good. So today I want to try something a little different. I want to try a little mini Chun-Li tips and tricks and, and, and kind of what I've learned about her. Uh, I'm going to talk at kind of a, a pretty basic level. And uh, full disclosure before we get started, I am no expert. Uh, I am in Diamond right now, mid-Diamond. But I have been playing Chun-Li since launch. And I have been watching a lot of footage of Chun-Li. So I, I kind of have an idea of what she likes to do and, and what you should be looking for as a Chun-Li player. Especially as somebody starting up as Chun-Li. I want to talk about her buttons. I want to talk about her tactics, her special moves. And just a couple little like check marks that I would recommend knowing and things to kind of keep in mind when playing her. I'll start pretty simple. I'll start with her buttons and we're going to put the CPU on uh, on block because one thing worth noting is like most things in this game, her jab is minus three. Her standing short is minus two, crouch short minus two, crouch jab minus two, you know, pretty much minus minus but safe on basically all of her buttons but one's worth noting uh for multiple reasons crouching medium kick minus six that can be jab punished that can be uh answered with a lot of things uh, spd zangief spd comes to mind so like this is something that gets me a lot <laughs> and it's not fun so if i even like from here see that that's too far but like from here i'm cooked and so you got to be careful throwing this out too often but you know, it's as as we'll see later. It's a really important tool for her. Far, uh, or forward or back medium punch. Also minus three. Great poking tool. Lots of really good poking tools on Chun. Um, and then I would say her kind of bread and butter button, standing medium punch is plus one, and that's super important for frame trapping. That's super important for uh, particularly frame trapping with jab. That's super important for frame trapping, and that's super important for establishing you know a throw. Uh, it will push them out of throw range, so you gotta take a little walk forward if you do want to throw them. But, you know, a basically, you know, point blank game plan is medium punch throw or medium punch jab if they're trying to mash out of the throw or trying to move away or trying to do something. And then you kind of you kind of build off of that. This is a frame trap with jab, see? But that's going to get counter hit. Crouching medium punch is going to get counter hit. But once they respect you know, this frame trap and what it can lead into, which is a full combo off of that. You know, once they respect that, you get better fishing if they continue to block and you get that, right? Or if they're not, if they're not responding with a light attack, if they're responding with like a medium attack, trying to be a little greedy, you can counter hit that medium attack. So I like to start by kind of just seeing their tendency, you know, going into this, going into grab maybe, grab will even beat medium options again it won't beat light options but it'll beat medium options they loses to light options but yeah so you can kind of cycle through just level one basic i have pressure is this this and this pretty simple you also of course have you know jab 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 is a natural frame trap uh, you gotta kind of do it right you can also get a frame trap off of that a more complicated, or I guess let's go into our heavy buttons first. Let's go into our heavy buttons first. Our heavy buttons are both minus four. Or this is zero, but you don't use this in neutral. I'm talking about this one. Forward roundhouse, minus four. Standing fierce, minus four. Uh, back fierce is minus one, but we'll talk about that a little later when we get into kind of meaties and stuff. But, you know, minus four, minus four means they're jab punishable, but often you can space them such that a jab whiffs. You know, it's harder with this one, but you can do it. They're pretty safe. They are, of course, very weak to DI. If I have him do drive impact, right, there you, you eat it. The forward, forward roundhouse is just not cancelable. You're gonna die. Um, and then standing fierce is stance cancelable, but it's there's no time. So if they if they prediction, if they prediction DI one of these buttons. Uh, you're cooked, but they're pretty safe. So they're great to push out. This also low crushes. Uh, crouching medium kick is a common poke that a lot of people will use, right? You can actually jump it. And if timed right, you'll get a punish counter. Yeah, and punish counter on that is huge. So if you get a low crush with this successfully, you can do a very simple back fierce into legs. 
or um, you can do fancier stuff if you want. I'm not gonna get into too much fancy stuff um, because that's I just go into I just go into back fierce legs. It's usually a pretty weird hit, so back fierce into legs is is pretty good. Yeah, so that that's her heavy buttons. Special moves you got Kikoken. Basic fireball, very basic functionality. Only thing worth noting about Kikoken, I would say, besides it's a fireball, is EX is zero on block. Uh, zero frames right there by advantage. So it's a good, like, get out of jail free card for certain setups, which I'll talk about something like that later. And then also something that a lot of people don't know that I think we're gonna see a lot of as the time goes on is if they jump into your fireball, and I think this is universal, but if they jump into your fireball, I gotta get it to time right. You can actually drive rush and uh, get a combo. So it'll look like this. And uh, I believe you wanna go into crouch jab. Or, or see, crouching medium punch combos. There's a lot of things that'll combo off of that. And I'll talk about uh, all those can go into her stance buttons, which uh, we'll talk about next like that you can actually get a combo if they jump on your fireball which is something not a lot of people are utilizing like that so that's that's a combo you can get if they jump into your fireball and you're looking out for it and uh you're ready that's something that i think not a lot of people are doing yet myself included it's just really really good it's comfy comfy little confirm there uh that's fireball lightning legs down forward kick uh, two versions. There's really three, or I guess four if you count EX. Um, light and medium are both super unsafe. They are minus eight. So do not auto confirm into these. Heavy is minus three. Safe, but kind of risky. Extremely good if they're burnt out. It's minus three, but it's really good if they're burnt out. Plus one, right? Burnout adds four frames to anything. So you go plus one. And then this is like the pseudo infinite, right? Like a lot of characters can do this when the opponent's burnt out. Plus one into jab. The jab is, uh, I think, I think jab into heavy legs is pretty much uh, safe. Oh, that's interruptible. Yeah, it's uh, not quite, not quite an infinite, but heavy legs trust is very good off of, uh, or when they're burnt out. It's a lot of chip too. Oh, I guess EX, EX legs is also mi oh, minus three. So EX legs is also safe. This is a this is a fine thing to hit confirm into because uh, it will combo on hit and it will uh, it will be safe on block. So if you're if you're like blind confirming into something, right? EX legs is a pretty good one to go into. Uh, Hazanshu overhead, pretty good uh, anti fireball tool. Uh, just by itself, heavy Hazanshu combos into standing light kick, which goes into EX legs. Uh, on counter, or EX, goes into Tensho kicks. And then I think on counter hit as well. Um, now on counter hits, you just get the same thing. So uh, If they throw a fireball, you can go over it. Pretty straightforward. Go over the fireball, punish counter. You, you, you can do it on reaction as well. It's, it's actually not not too tough. And then, yeah, you get whatever you want off of that. Uh, and then she has Spinning Bird Kick, which is pretty much combo ender. Light Spinning Bird Kick combos off of lights. So you get up to three, as, as does legs, which I may not have mentioned earlier. Um, so crouching, three lights. Uh, that one didn't quite work. Yeah, if you're using if you're using crouching jab, you get three of them. If you're using crouching light kick, uh, you only get two. But SBK combos off of both of those, the light version. Medium version combos off of higher buttons, so crouching medium kick. Uh, stance light kick, which we'll talk about in a second, also combos into that. And then stance medium kick also combos into medium kick SBK. Um, and then anything that combos into medium SBK also combos into EX SBK. EX SBK leaves them juggled afterwards. So you can do a special move, or you can do um, super. Any any of her supers will combo there as well. Uh, oh, 10 show kicks. Sorry, I forgot 10 show kicks. Uh, basic anti-air. It is head and uh on light, medium, or heavy. Pretty good. And then on um, EX, it's fully involved. So that's your reversal. 
if you want um, decent, decent stuff. Stance. So two on four punch is a stance that she can go into and out of. The stance has a lot of kind of mini uses. Uh, one of them is she goes under fireballs, which is kind of neat. So stance, uh, two and four any button or any punch, sorry. Two and four punch. Uh, you go under fireballs, <laughs> clean, which is kind of cool. This is a great way when you're in burnout and can't parry to avoid fireballs. If you see them do it, you actually even have time to do it from full screen. Uh, so that's that's actually something kind of neat. Uh, you will you can also block on the way down. So if you miss time it, you won't uh, you won't totally eat crap. So it's actually a pretty good way to dodge fireballs while in burnout uh, in order to not take chip damage. It has six follow up attacks, one for each attack button. Light punch is fine, doesn't do a whole lot. It does frame trap off of this, which is not nothing, I guess. Yeah, that's a frame trap off of Back Fierce. Kind of neat. Uh, I don't use this, though. Yeah, you can't really see it, but I don't use this. Uh, Stance Medium Punch. Pretty unsafe. It's minus 9. Super punishable. But it is a slide, and likewise, if uh, they're doing fireballs, you can go under them. And you saw I was pretty close when he did that. You can basically do it on reaction. Because with, with all stance moves, if you push the button on the way down, she'll do it like as fast as possible. So I actually, you get under the fireball, like, even if you're pretty close. Not that close, but like, here, you can actually punish fireballs with it, which is super good. Uh, Stance Fierce is an overhead. Uh, I believe this is special cancelable. Yep. Uh, so it's two hit overhead. Uh, it is safe. It is safe uh, on block. I think it's minus two. Minus three. Pretty good. And special cancelable. Crouch, uh, Stance Light Kick. I say crouch, it's stance, light kick. Super long range. Combos off of back fierce. Uh, standing fierce needs a counter hit for it to combo. So on counter hit, that'll combo as well. And then as mentioned earlier, this combos into medium spinning bird kick. This is gonna be your bread and butter combo, basically. Uh, you're gonna wanna go back fierce, stance, light kick, spinning bird kick. It's a little hard. But one thing I didn't mention is all of her stance normals, when canceled into a charge move, you don't have to charge. Which is neat. And I found that out the other day. So if you just if I'm a neutral and I go down up kick after the after the stance normal, you just get spinning bird kick. Or I can do the same thing with Kikoken. You don't need to charge when you're using a stance normal. So it's a lot easier to combo this than it looks. You don't need a charge. Stance medium kick, combo filler, combos off of this most commonly even on non-counter hit. Uh, it's pretty much her biggest starter. Um, and this does damage with Spinning Bird Kick or EX Spinning Bird Kick. And then Tensho Kick. This is basically your like cheap, your cheap big damage punish counter combo. And then uh, Stance Heavy Kick is a launcher. She can jump, cancel that and jump after it. And you get Stomps afterwards. Stomps is down medium kick in the air. Yeah, so a, a common combo you'll see is like that, or more, you know, a little more fancy. And then you can do super there. So all of her stance moves, uh, except, I guess, jab, <laughs> are really good and have a purpose. And uh, I, you should be implementing them in your game plan if you're not already. Supers, supers are straightforward. Kikosho, reversal, level one, deals with drive impact, uh, can kind of anti-air a little bit. You know, if you're burnt out or you don't want to spend drive, but you want a reversal, it's good. Uh, you can combo this off of heavy legs just for free. So take your damage. Uh, something I like doing a lot is, you know, heavy lightning kicks. And just churning Kikosho and letting it rip when it goes. That's a lot of damage for a little bit of effort. It's really good. Lightning legs, super. Uh, Hyakuritz is, um, it goes through fireballs. I would say that's probably its best purpose. The opponent throws a fireball, jump right through it. And just like the launcher, you get stomp sequences, any stomp sequence you want after it. One thing I like doing here is this, and then the stomp sequence, a, 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 a super. Because you only spend level two, you can spend level one. This will do less damage than level three, but you get more corner carry. And it's one of those situations where like, if you're not sure if two bars will kill or three, or you need all three, 
you can use two and see if it'll kill and then decide to spend the one. Uh, level three is level three. I mean, it's big damage. Combo it off of anything. You can combo light legs into it, uh, which is really nice because because level three EXs cancel into it. EX legs, you have all day to hit confirm and cancel into it. Um, as well as you can do um, a stomp sequence into it. And that'll combo as well. I also like to anti-air with it. Um, if they jump at you, because this first hit goes like kind of horizontally, uh, I like to anti-air with it. It's not always the best anti-air, but as we'll talk about, I guess, when anti-airs come up, Chun has a lot of anti-airs that she wants to be using in certain situations. I think that covers all of her moves. I guess just one last thing, we'll talk about stomp sequences. Uh, there's two main ones that I like to use. I like to just do all three sometimes, just because it's easy if, if they're about to die. Or you go uh, stomp, stomp, fierce, fierce. And it's going to be a little hard to get at first, but it, it ends up getting easier. And uh, the best advice I can give for hitting this consistently is do the first stomp on the way up. You can see I let that stomp go like as soon as I jump. And then she'll make contact with them on the way up. And that basically auto times the rest of your sequence. And then you can, you know, oops, that missed, but <laughs> you can do whatever you want after that. Uh, the other one that's simpler, if you're worried about that, is you can do one stomp on the way up and then jump medium punch immediately after. It's way less damage, but it's hyper reliable and it'll get you really close to the ground. So your super comes out like really fast and it, it's just like a reliable, it's like, oh, okay, they're like giga dead. Let me just make sure this hits. Okay, cut that out. But it, it is a lot more reliable because you get right on the ground and you can basically go right into your super. So if you're like, okay, they're they're dead for sure, you can use medium punch. Jump one stomp, medium punch. I don't do a ton of combos on Chun and they all kind of build off of each other. But basically jab, 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 spinning bird kick. Jab, 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 EX legs. Uh, another one I like is jab, 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 light legs. That leaves you at plus three. Uh, which is really good because this is five frames. So if they press anything, yeah, this is going to whiff. But if they press anything there, they're counter hit. Uh, likewise, this is six frames. So being plus three, this is probably better. That'll, that'll get them pressing anything. And then once you get them to respect the situation, you're like in throw range. So really, really strong situation there. Stand strong, crouch strong combos, and that gets you medium SBK. Uh, stand strong, far strong. Oh no, sorry. That this just barely doesn't combo. It's stand strong, crouch strong, unless you counter hit or drive rush. I guess also worth mentioning is uh, standing short works uh, in jab combos. That's pretty much all of her basic combos. Besides like anything that's hitting, like you know, you get a hit confirm or like a punish counter. Uh, this on punish counter, I like to do back fierce legs. Uh, I mentioned earlier, uh, legs combos into Kikosho here. It does not off of this situation, he's too far. So don't try to do it there, I've lost games for that. Uh, back fierce, stance light kick, spinning bird, medium spinning bird kick. That's This is your bread and butter. Learn this, this is what you're gonna turn everything into. So if you want to learn one sequence, it's it's this one. Learn this one. Um, and then Back Fierce also goes into Launcher, into uh, Stomp Sequence, which is also pretty good. That's, that's I guess, meterless or whatever we want to call, like, resourceless, not, not too conditional. Uh, if you want to spend Drive Rush, a lot more opens up. So basically, any hit into Drive Rush is going to lead into this standing, standing Strong. Standing Strong is really good here, as it's super plus. And Drive Rush Standing Strong combos into Back Fierce. You get a... Uh, this is the bread and butter. If you have some to practice every day, it's this. So definitely learn that sequence. This is pretty much your... This is your... You know, we, we mentioned this poke is godlike. This into Drive Rush. This into Drive Rush. This cannot, unfortunately, go into Drive Rush. That'd be super broken. So yeah, th that's... uh Basically, what if you cancel into Drive Rush, you're looking for... You're looking for this into literally whatever you want. Uh, another thing that I've been seeing and implementing recently is Drive Rush Crouching Medium Kick. 
so you drive rush first. Uh, worth noting, Chun-Li's drive rush doesn't go super far. It goes far, but it's not. it doesn't quickly go very far. Uh, this right here combos into two pretty important things. Uh, it combos into heavy legs and also functions as a frame trap with heavy legs, which is kind of neat. You'll see we trade, but did you see how he flinched a little bit there? You can actually go... Uh, I think it's I think it's jab that confirms there. Or maybe it's... Yeah, it's jab. So you get a jab confirmed there. Right? And that's, that's if he's hitting light. If he's hitting literally anything else, you counter hit with the legs. Uh, it's, it's a little tricky, but it's definitely a tool that you can, you know, really... You have plenty of time to hit confirm too, right? Because if you know... If you know this traded, you know your jab is going to connect. So you can just hit confirm. And I think you can hit confirm that into super too. Yeah. So you can get a lot out of that if you really want to. That's pretty sweet. Uh, this also is a frame trap with stance. This, is, this one's a little tricky of an input. But basically you can go drive rush, crouching medium kick, stance, light kick. This is a true frame trap, and it doesn't look like one. People want to mash on this. And so then what you can do is, oh, it also hit confirms. So while that's a frame trap, it also hit confirms. See, two hits. So what I like to do is I like to drive rush in, crouching medium kick, and then stance light kick. It's basically free. Obviously, you know, it, holds with it the same risks that normal frame traps do but it's basically free if i hit them medium sbk or ex sbk right because again as we mentioned in stance you don't have to do a charge motion so i just watch and see if i hit it and then just quickly down up kick if i want to if i want to confirm it and if they blocked it and let's say they block and do nothing Kikoken, which again is you don't have to be charging because you're in stance. So just back forward punch. Not perfectly safe. If you want to be perfectly safe, that will have to be an EX Kikoken. But lots of options there. And it's a great way to kind of get in, especially if you're at like this range where like I can't really press crouching medium kick. I can't really do this. You know, I can I can hold this space. And if he tries to jump and if he throws a fireball, I have that. But like, you know, I don't really have an in. That becomes my in, and then, you know, I get something going. We also have Punish Combo, uh, Drive Impact. So this is just max damage. Max damage is going to always start with Standing Roundhouse, and it's going to look like this. Right, and that was me not spending anything. So there's two places where you can choose to spend in this con- I guess I spent, sorry. It looks like this. This is completely no spending. Right, I go like this. Actually, there are two routes, sorry. I'm, I'm being a little scatterbrained here. That's one route. You know, pretty straightforward. And then that's that spends nothing. The other route that spends nothing... That Tensho kick doesn't combo. Ignore that. <laughs> you, ju you just do the fierces, because that leads to a safe jump, which I'll talk about after this. So this is the other kind of meterless route. And that gives you a safe jump. The other one gives you a spinning bird kick knockdown. Your first opportunity to spend is going to be, do you want to EX spinning bird kick? Right? And then you can do, you know, a little more. Uh, or if you want to drive rush, or yeah, drive rush cancel the crouching medium kick. And then you can just go into good old bread and butter. Just like that. If you want to spend everything, this this literally spends everything. This is the biggest damage I've been able to find uh, in my searchings. It looks something like this. And that's that's complete cash out. Uh, you can do that if you have four or more drive bars, because the first drive rush will take three. And the second one will take the rest, no matter what you're at. So you can fully cash out with that. Um, and then there's like a little mini cash out, which looks kind of like this. Oh, 
also a lot of damage. The other one does slightly more damage than this. I like this one because, again, look, we spent two less drive bars here. So both are good. Both can get you kind of what you want. Um, those are the big damage. Uh, Oki. So talking about Oki, let's have him wake up with Jab. Uh, Oki comes in a couple forms. Uh, there's not a ton of Oki stuff that I like to do. Um, medium spinning bird kick. Oops, I should do something that combos into medium spinning bird kick. Is drive rush. Uh, drive rush is a uh, meaty. And you can do two things off of that. So off of, and light, actually light SBK does it too. So off of SBK, this is meaty. And it's an overhead, which is pretty good. It's, it's something I like to test people with. Uh, it'll obviously make them reversal. So you can go like this. And you get um, you get crouching strong off of that, I believe. Let me double check. Yeah, you get crouching strong off of that. Um, that's also drive impact safe, which is nice. You can also off of that, right? If you don't want to do the overhead, you can do crouching short, but you have to delay it just a hair. Which isn't that bad. And it also kind of gives them a chance to hang themselves with reversal. So not bad. Uh, that's off of medium or light spinning bird kick. Off of heavy legs, double dash, medium punch is a meaty. Uh, which is pretty good. Uh, also double dash throw in that same vein will be a meaty because they're both five frames. That's why I like to do off of this punish counter. I just like to go like this. Because I get double that. Oop, I totally messed that up. Other Oki options, safe jump. So this one usually only comes up if you're corner carrying or something like that. But off a of launcher, if you do the sequence I described, just holding up forward is a safe jump. Okay, safe jump. So timing is a bit tricky. It's not perfect, but that's her like go-to safe jump. It also kind of loops into itself um, because again, when you land with, if you hit them with that, you can go into basically anything that will take you back into launcher. Yep. Just like with any safe jump, make sure you're holding down back. So I like to, uh, as someone someone else demonstrated this, I like to, when I do this safe jump and I'm coming down with fierce kicks, I like to do crouching fierce as my follow-up attack. Um, again, crouching fierce isn't super great on block. Uh, what is it? It's minus, it is safe but you know, it gives them a turn. You could just cancel into EX Kiko as well if you want. Uh, a couple other little miscellaneous things. EX Kiko in the corner combos into um, low forward, I believe. You just gotta be at the right range. And if you're a little closer and not sure, you can get it to combo into um, into just jab. jab. Jab will pretty much always combo. I think even point blank. Even point blank jab combos, yeah. That's, that's pretty much what I've been using so far. Uh, I will say Chun-Li does not have forward throw Oki. That's real. If the opponent's waking up with jab, so she has to play a little differently because I'm not going to say she doesn't have real Oki. She doesn't have throw loops. So if I throw, I cannot walk forward and throw. I also cannot drive rush forward and throw. Oops, I tried to do it. Safe. She'll get counter hit no matter what. She does not have a true forward throw loop in the corner, but... Her throw puts her at the perfect spacing to hit a meaty crouching medium kick, which again is her like, that's her best button, I think. Back throw though, drive rush, uh, drive rush crouching short. Uh, if they if they don't back tech, sorry. If they don't back tech, drive rush crouching short actually beats mash. Like that. It's tight, but back throw actually gives you Oki. Uh, likewise, jab works there, so if they do recover backwards, I believe stand jab catches. Yeah. Uh, there are a couple counter hit confirms worth mentioning. Standing jab goes into forward or back strong. That's her big one, because that leads into drive rush into stuff. Um, standing fierce. Counter hit goes into stance LK, which is huge on shimmies, if you're shimmying a throw. So if we have him do uh, block and then throw on block reversal, uh, you can do, where's throw? There it is. So if we shim, oh, 
That was bad. <laughs> if we shimmy him, right, like that, I like to do that a lot. And then Stand Fierce is going to be a big punish counter. Meterless, or you can go, of course, spend a little bit. Spend a lot. You know, you can really make you can really make them pay for trying to tech a throw. With that, with that stand fierce. As mentioned earlier, though, that is weak to drive impact. So if you're trying to shimmy, oh gosh, this is giving me flashbacks. If you try to shimmy and they drive impact, <laughs> you explode. So you do have to watch out for their tendencies. But obviously, you know, you can counter that a million miles away. If they're, if they're, you know, there, there is no real good answer there, though. I think you can super cancel that. Is about all you could do. Let me. I don't even know if you can do that. No, you just die. So yeah, be careful if your opponent is a drive impactor. Chun is pretty good at dealing with DI, generally speaking, just because all of her lights and mediums are cancelable. <laughs> so only her heavies are susceptible to drive impact, but her heavies are turbo strong. So do use them, just don't overuse them. Talking about game plan, one thing with Chun-Li, very basic game plan is throw a fireball, walk behind it, right? That's that's like common sense. If they jump over it, anti-air. Oh, I didn't talk about anti-airs. Uh, Chun-Li anti-airs, she has a lot of them. Uh, she has a uh, standing medium kick, which is my favorite one. Uh, it's her fastest, I would say. Uh, and it, it doesn't give you much reward, but it does. Can you go like this? No, you can't. Okay. It doesn't give you much reward, but it does... Uh, Reset the situation. And what I feel with Chun-Li is... Unlike some characters in this game who can just run their offense and, you know, do kind of whatever they want. Uh, Chun-Li has to kind of be the stop sign. Chun-Li has to kind of say, no, you cannot do what you want to do. And this is a big tool in that. Stopping people from jumping is huge in that. Another thing people like to do in this game uh, is jump over you. <laughs> A lot of people have dealt with this a million times, right? <laughs> Everyone loves the jump over jab jab. Everyone's dealt with this. Chun Li and among other characters, they don't have a great, they don't have a great time dealing with this, right? So, you know, a lot of times you'll block, and then it's like, oh, I'm in a really bad position, right? This is a bad position. As Chun, you don't want to be there. So the best anti air for that situation is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be jump back jab in my experience. And again, just reset the situation. If you're in neutral, you're chilling as Chun-Li, in my experience. Obviously, it can be a little stressful. But yeah, if you use standing medium kick, jump back jab, and other such things to stop your opponent from jumping at you, you're in a really good spot. If you get a little bit more of a preemptive read on their jump, or they jump over your fireball, you do, of course, have 10 show kicks. Perfectly good anti-air. You also have standing roundhouse, which is probably her best anti-air. Because you get a reward. You get stance, medium kick into whatever you want from there. Any special move, any super. It's a little tricky to hit. Definitely requires a little bit of practice. But you can do Tensho off of that. You can do... Uh, that was just the X Tensho. You can do super if you, if you hit it. You get super off of that, which is super good. Uh, you can also do, I think, EX Spinning Bird. Oops, that was a trade. It's a slower anti-air, so you do have to preempt it a little bit. Yeah, you can get EX Spinning Bird. Uh, it won't launch, though. So, EX Spinning Bird won't launch. But it's super good corner carry, right? Um, and I and basically anything else you want to get off of that. So, you know, high reward, but it's slow, so you kind of have to have the read on the jump. Other than that, standing medium kick, jump back jab, Tensho. And honestly, Kikoken is a decent anti-air. It's fast. Heavy Kikoken is fast. So sometimes if you see them jumping at you and the spacing's right, you can actually get them to stop with Kikoken. She's kind of neat. She also has air grab. Uh, I'm not too keen on air grab, but it's definitely fast. And it's definitely something that is in her arsenal. And it's also a decent way to deal with like the jump over shenanigans. Uh, as long as you do it in a timely manner. I also like walking under and jab. Walk under jab is also pretty good. Just be careful against characters like Kimberly and characters like um, who have like wider jump in or DJ. DJ is another good example. They have deceptive or wider jump ins. Cami will also really mess you up for trying to walk under. So, you know, just you got you got to It's hard. There's no universal anti here. You got to choose the anti here. That's that's best for the situation. Last section I want to talk about. This is just miscellaneous stuff. 
So, a couple miscellaneous things that I've found uh, that I like to use. One of them is this neat little MIDI setup. Um, again, this isn't going to be perfect. I might have missed some stuff. I might, you know, obviously test this stuff for yourself, see what works for you. But this is kind of where I've gotten with Chun-Li with a lot of a lot of the stuff that I've been figuring out. And yeah, like she is not a just drive rush in low forward character. She is not a spam fireball, spam headbutt, spam bonka ball type character. Uh, she is the stop sign. She is the control deck. She is the character that's going to keep your opponent from doing the shenanigans and just trust the process. If you are hitting your opponent, you are winning. You don't have to one shot them. You don't have to one sequence them. You certainly can. As you saw, there's some meaty, meaty Oki options off of like, you know, light spinning bird kick, go into this, do, do, da, 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 da. go into this, go low, you know, go into this, throw them, yada, yada, yada. You can do that kind of stuff. And she does a lot of damage. You saw some of these cash out routes. But in my experience, you're winning if you're just making your opponent impatient, stopping their jumps, stopping their neutral skips. This is amazing for stopping neutral skips. This is amazing for stopping neutral skips. As is this. As is this. This is super active. On drive rushes, you can, you can catch some people with that. So definitely play the stop sign. But here's some neat stuff that I found just kind of in my play that I like to implement and that you might want to implement too. So off of heavy legs in the corner, um, light Tensho dash back fierce is meaty and plus one on block. That's still good. It's meaty and it's zero. But what you mix in with that is if you do medium Tensho kicks and dash. Hello, Kai. Medium Tensho dash grab is meaty. It's auto-timed meaty grab. You don't have to think. And that's really good because nobody expects it. The timing looks super messed up. So this is something that I get a lot of people with. It's a meaty grab. That's one thing I found. Uh, I already mentioned off of a uh, spinning bird kick, drive rush overhead. That's going to be plus as well. It's meaty plus and DI safe. You basically make your opponent want a reversal. And then likewise, if they reversal, you can just do do and just block. Right, so if they see Drive Rush and say Reversal, you just block. Air Legs is worth mentioning. It's decent if they go for Throw. But on Punish Counter, you get Jab. So uh, you can... If you Shimmy with this, you get you get Jab. So you can Shimmy with that, which is kind of nice. It's, uh, it's safe on Block as well. So if they do nothing... Uh, you're only minus three, but if they crouch, uh, it whiffs. So not exactly the best, but it is something you can mix in there. So yep, that's been my little, that's been my experience with Chun so far. Some of the stuff I found, some of the basics. If I missed anything, you can comment below, or if you want to hit me up and ask any questions or specify, you can find me on Twitch TV slash RyerVT, or you can um, DM me on Discord. I'm, I'm Ryer. <laughs> I'm just Ryer, R-Y-E-R. So, hope you, hope this has been informative. If you're interested in playing Chun-Li, I highly recommend it. I think she's a super strong character. I think she just requires a little bit more work and she doesn't really do anything on autopilot. You know, she is the character that has to be pretty intentional with everything she's doing, but it really pays off and game knowledge goes a long way uh, with her. So, hope you enjoyed. I've been Ryer and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.